Dear all, the following video looks at reflecting on the impacts of science, which is Criterion D. So first of all, Criterion D rubric, um, what does it uh, actually want you to do? So you're all very familiar with the following structured rubric, which for some of you can look very complicated, but this video essentially breaks this down at what they actually want you to do when it comes to Criterion questions or assessments. So, Firstly, how do I structure a Criterion D um, assessment? In a Criterion D, you will be given um, a global issue or a problem that you will need to solve. It is your job to identify a scientific solution or, or solutions to this problem. You must then discuss and evaluate the implications of using this scientific solution. You need to use scientific language throughout your assessment or throughout your essay and document all resources. So if I was planning this, um, the first thing that I would do would be to create the following structure or mind map when I would be um, trying to prepare for this sort of question or criterion. So the first thing that you need to do is describe the global issue or problem that you are given in the question. The next thing that you should do is identify a scientific solution to this problem. Now, it is important to explain how science is applied to solve this problem. So here's where you bring in your scientific language to how you will solve this problem. The next thing that I would do is look at two aspects, the positive implications of using your scientific solution and the negative implications of using your scientific solution. Notice here that I am not talking about the positive and negatives of the problem. I am looking just solely at the solution that I have come up with. It is here where you bring in your factors, so e.g. Uh, a negative environmental factor of this and so on, or a positive economic factor of your scientific solution. Um, then at the end, you need to create an appraisal. So appraisal is like an opinion that you will give to discuss whether um, you, you're weighing up essentially the positives and the negatives. Now a reminder, the different factors that we have also for this sort of question is cultural, environmental, ethical, economic, moral, social and political. They are the seven factors that you will have to try and relate your answer to in a Criterion D. Again, uh, an appraisal is a summary of weighing up the pros and cons at the end. So this is your opinion. And also, it's important to note that in an e-assessment, um, there is also been a global context where you'd have to bring into your answer and key concepts have also came up before. However, what I would always do before you begin any of these assessments, or if you're in an e-assessment environment, is try and structure um, or make a mind map of what I have in red at the beginning so that you can correctly structure your answer. The last thing that you need to note is how to document all sources. In an e-assessment, you would not be asked to document sources. However, during our summative assessments and formative assessments, you will be asked to document sources. For this, we use Harvard rest the Harvard referencing style. You need to show five sources, and one of these sources has to be um, a book. You should include in-text citation within your um, assignment or essay. And if you are uncertain of how to correctly do a Harvard reference in style, there's a quick method of doing this. And that's called Neil's Toolbox, where you can just insert the correct information that you have about your source, and it will generate your reference for you that you can just copy and paste into your bibliography.